everyone, and welcome to this session on the Chrome browser and the role it plays at work. I'm Phil. I'm a product manager in the Chrome Enterprise team. Today, we'll cover how recent AI features in Chrome help employees get their work done and how Chrome Enterprise controls and security features enable IT teams to manage and mitigate some of the key risks linked to generative AI. Let's jump in. Over the last few years, AI has transformed many of the applications that enterprise users use regularly. AI is unlocking new ways to work, making it easier than ever before for employees to quickly learn from vast amounts of information and to create new content and products faster than ever before. With these rapid advances, it's clear that enterprises are pursuing many new opportunities in this space, ranging from building agents to automate common workflows across the organization, to extending existing security systems to deploy AI-built security rules and threat prevention measures, to unlocking time savings and efficiencies, and improving how they connect with their customers, from optimizing customer service flows to improving customer support materials to marketing campaigns that are more tailored to specific segments. To add to this, AI also underpins many advances in security. For example, more than 1 billion Chrome users are now using Safe Browsing's Enhanced Protection Mode. If you turn on Enhanced Protection, much of the additional protection you receive comes from advanced AI and machine learning models designed to spot phishing, social engineering attacks, and scams. These models are trained to distinguish between real and malicious websites based on millions of real-world examples. But AI also comes with important risks that need to be mitigated. One of the biggest ones is that while AI can help employees get work done, the rapid pace of advances in tooling makes it very tempting for employees to try many different tools. A recent survey by Melbourne University and KPMG showed that 48% of employees surveyed reported that they had uploaded company information into public AI tools. AI brings insider threats and risks to a whole new level, and it's important to think through approaches for how to mitigate these risks when rolling out AI. And when it comes to external threats, AI also opens up new attack vectors where voice phishing scams, deep fakes, social engineering attacks, and identity theft and fraud have all become more sophisticated and now pose greater risks for enterprises. And the browser is ideal to act as an enforcement point for this, since most of the interactions that your employees have today are within the browser. IT teams tend to work through three key phases prior to introducing new services. The first is risk analysis. IT teams need visibility into the use of AI across the organization, and they need to better understand how employees are using AI tools. This helps them identify the key risks that they'll need to mitigate. The second is data protection. Once you have good visibility into where the risks lie, you want to think about what safeguards you can put in place to steer your employees towards AI tools and behaviors that are compliant with your organization's data policies. The third is endpoint protection. This is also a good moment to make sure that you're setting the right bar for a device's security posture prior to granting access to AI tools. And that's really what we built into Chrome Enterprise Premium. It includes a broad range of context-aware data controls that can help you set the right policies for what employees can do and can't do with your enterprise data. I won't list or talk through them all in the interest of time, but over the next few slides, I'll show you how these tools can help IT teams with some of the most common use cases for these protections when it comes to securing AI. The first feature I'll talk about is Chrome Security Insights Report. It gives IT teams what they need to get visibility into the sensitive data transfers that are happening across their organization. All you have to do to enable this feature is to manage the Chrome browser that your employees use today. I'll include more details at the end of this talk for how you can enable this, but all you need to do is to enroll your browsers in Chrome Enterprise Core and to turn on this feature. Once that's done, your team gets a report showing all of the sensitive data transfers that Chrome detects across your managed browsers. This uses more than 50 sensitive data detectors that were built by Google to detect identifiers such as social security numbers, addresses, and much more. 
Chrome Enterprise Premium customers are also able to dig into individual security events to get more details about each one in the security investigation tool. Another big challenge that IT teams face is that end users are often tempted to experiment with many different AI tools in their work. Once you've licensed a particular tool, you want to be able to route users to that tool. Chrome Enterprise offers URL filtering options that can redirect your employees to the right tool. What you're seeing here is a case where a user is looking for an enterprise search tool and selects one that hasn't been purchased and configured by this organization's IT team. Chrome has been configured to block the navigation and redirect the user to the solution which is in use. In this case, it's agent space. So even when your users are using an AI tool you've approved, it's important to be able to control what type of data users can use with it. So here, what you see is an example of the data protection feature in Chrome Enterprise Premium. This lets IT teams configure context-aware data loss prevention rules that control what content can employees can paste, print, or download. When rolling out AI tools, you also want to make sure that the device that's accessing these tools has a good security posture. What you're seeing here is a user that initially tries to navigate to an approved site. In this case, it's agent space. But without being in a fully managed state, access to the site is blocked until the user switches to their work profile. That includes all the necessary policies to access the site, and the user is then granted access. So as we've seen, Chrome comes with a very broad set of tools to help businesses manage AI tools their way. It does this by giving IT teams tools that can help a lot with their AI governance efforts. These tools span visibility into Gen AI usage, policies and control for Chrome's own Gen AI based services, the ability to block sites, and the ability to apply fine grained data controls to help businesses keep on top of their data. Now, let's switch our focus away from securing AI to some AI capabilities that are built directly into Chrome. The first one is Agent Space. Agent Space is a platform that enterprises can use to build agents and to search for enterprise information. You've seen it in action in several of the demos that were shown earlier in this talk. Agent Space makes it possible for employees to find relevant information across hundreds of different applications. Chrome's integration with Agent Space surfaces the most relevant results from Agent Space directly as users type in Chrome's address bar. We need to reference dozens of documents as we work. So finding the right ones quickly keeps you in your flow and it helps you get your work done. The next one is Gemini and Chrome, which was announced at Google I.O. this year and will come to businesses later this year. It isn't another separate application you have to open or a new tab you have to switch to. Gemini and Chrome is your personal AI assistant integrated directly into the browser itself, providing AI help right where you need it. So imagine you're reviewing a lengthy report, researching a complex topic, or drafting an important email. With Gemini and Chrome, you can summarize key takeaways from an article you're reading directly on the page or clarify complex concepts or explain terminology without leaving your current tab. Brainstorm ideas for a presentation or a new project, leveraging the context of the web page you're viewing. Even get help from drafting content directly within web applications. The real beauty of Gemini and Chrome is its contextual awareness. It can use the content of the browser tab you're currently viewing to provide highly relevant and actionable assistance. This reduces context switching, boosts productivity, and keeps your employee in their flow. And because it's built into Chrome Enterprise, you can apply some of the Chrome Enterprise controls we touched on earlier to tailor what it can and can't do. Speaking of controls, we know that data security, confidentiality, and compliance are top priorities for business leaders when adopting AI. And we're committed to helping you keep your data safe. For workspace customers, Gemini and Workspace gives you an extensive set of controls. We don't use your data, prompts, or generated responses to train Gemini models outside of your domain without permission. We don't sell your data or use it for ads targeting. 
Gemini is one of the first generative AI productivity solutions to attain a comprehensive set of safety, privacy, and security certifications, including those listed here. And it can help you meet HIPAA and FedRAMP high compliance. We built Gemini with enterprise-grade controls to help you roll out Gemini while protecting your sensitive data. Gemini only retrieves relevant data that the user has permission to access, and your existing workspace data security and sovereignty controls are automatically applied. And much like Chrome Enterprise's own security controls, Gemini and Workspace also comes with data protection controls. So what you'll see in this video is an example of Gemini and Workspace refusing to answer questions about the contents of some files, because both files are classified as need-to-know information. And the IT team has put rules in place to prevent this. This feature in Gemini for Workspace is a very good example for how, as we approach AI, we need to think about security at different layers. Chrome Enterprise and Gemini play a role in Google's unified security suite. In this suite, you can think of Chrome as the endpoint. IT teams can configure Chrome to send security events and detects to other tools, such as Google's Security Operations tool. Chrome's integration with Google Security Operations brings the security events that Chrome detects, such as malware or phishing attempts or sensitive data loss rules being triggered directly where security teams do their work today. So we covered a lot in a short amount of time. Let's summarize. The browser is the new endpoint, and you should be thinking about it as part of your security strategy for securing AI. Secondly, when rolling out AI, you want to look for solutions that will minimize friction for your employees. Chrome Enterprise is easy to deploy, and it comes with several features that can help you set the right policies for AI. Thirdly, you want to start by understanding how your employees are using AI and what the risks look like. And then you want to take steps to strengthen your access, data, and endpoint protections to meet the moment. If you're interested in trying any of the capabilities that I talked about today, you can visit our Chrome Enterprise website at chromeenterprise.google. It's quite easy to get started. If your employees are already using Chrome, you don't need to install new software, and enrolling existing browsers into the management system is quick and easy. And that takes us to the end of this session. Thank you for taking some of your time today to look at Chrome and its role in unlocking and securing the use of AI. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the summit.